All right, I've been wanting to do this comparison for a while now. Kind of just curious. I honestly do not know the results of this yet. Uh, but what I am doing is I am going to take a two, what is this? A 2.12 2 gigabyte uh, video clip. It's four minutes and 42 seconds long. Uh, it's just a motorcycle clip of uh, uh, a section that I used in uh, one of my YouTube videos. And I took the exact same uh, clip and I put it on the iPad over here. And I'm going to edit it with LumaFusion on the iPad and I'm going to edit it with Final Cut Pro on the uh, MacBook Pro. Uh, this is the, uh, the new M1 Max version. I'll show you the specs on it in a second. And this is uh, pretty much a base model iPad Pro uh, 11 inch. Uh, it is a uh, cell version. Uh, I got it through my uh, Verizon account. So it's a, uh, I believe it's 128 gigabyte. Uh, but the specs don't really change on that like they do on the computer. So, uh, but this is the, the most recent iPad Pro uh, as well as the most recent computer. So uh, what I'm going to do is see how long it takes. I'm just going to take the video and put it into uh, Final Cut Pro. And I'm probably just going to, I'll either shorten it by, uh, by speeding it up uh, times two or lengthen it uh, depending on the file size. I want to just not have to make too long of a uh, comparison but I want to get long enough where it's accurate so maybe I'll cut it in half it's four it's a four minute and 42 vi uh, minute clip so I'm going to put it in Final Cut Pro and I'm going to apply a uh, speed on it and uh, double the speed on it so let that uh, process and then we'll do the same thing on uh, LumaFusion on the iPad uh, again we'll double speed it and then we're going to uh, make sure the settings are the same and we're going to export uh, on both and see how long each one takes. I'm just curious because this is the latest and greatest with uh, Final Cut Pro and the new uh, 32 core, you know, uh, graphics and everything. So this is about the fastest you can get um, besides you could get a higher RAM model or, or yeah, you could get a higher RAM model or a higher storage model, but uh, processor and graphics wise, this is the highest available in a MacBook right now. And of course, an iPad Pro, uh, which is an iPad Pro. So. Uh, quickly, I'll just show you here. Uh, this is a uh, 32 gigabyte RAM, uh, and it is the. Uh, let's see if we can see that there. Uh, M1 Max with 10 uh, core CPU, which even the uh, M1 Pro is also 10 core. Um, but uh, this will show, I'm sure, in here somewhere. Total number of cores 32. Uh, cores in the GPU, the uh, Max version. I believe they also have a 24 core version and then the 16 core is the base from the M1 Pro. So this is the uh, cat's meow, so to speak, in speed. So let's see, uh, let's see what we get here. So uh, we'll start off, let's try to keep this simple. We've got the uh, footage placed on the desktop. We're gonna go ahead and open up Final Cut Pro. And let's see. Just going to uh, delete this project. Or not uh, that clip. Uh, import media. I'm going to go right from the desktop. And this is the clip right here. Import it. And then uh, over here, let's open up LumaFusion. Let me see if this is even, uh, oh yeah, so we're in files. Huh, why is it not showing up? Uh, with this new, what is it called? Uh, universal control, you can see I'm able to use the, the mouse right between the Mac and the iPad Pro. Let me see if I can just grab this clip and pull it right over, look at that, right into Boom, okay, that was easy. So you can see I took that very same uh, MP4 clip and it's now importing into uh, LumaFusion here. So let's go back to Final Cut Pro and we're going to uh, take this footage, bring it back down into here. See four minutes and 41 seconds. And we're gonna change the speed on it just so we have something to modify. Uh, we're gonna go fast two times and 
then that's going to uh, render out, which doesn't really need to do anyways, but okay, and back over here, I'm going to take this, bring it down into our timeline. Yeah, it's been a while since I used LumaFusion. There we go. All right. So now it's in our timeline. And I believe we double click on it. And then down here is our speed. And we'll do two times. Then go back. Okay, so that shortened it up. Okay. So now at this point, all right, so we're going to export here. We want movie. Let's just set it to photos. We've got quality-wise, we want to bring it to standard, which is going to bring us to a 771 megabyte file size. This one here, we're going to share to this set, which is same. 3840 by 2164K, 59.960 frames per second, 48KHZ on the audio quality, 2 minutes and 20 second video, which this is, and it's saying about 745 megabytes, 771, so very similar file size, so this should be a close comparison to see speed, speed wise, so let's get next. This we're gonna call test three, and as soon as I hit that button, that one will start. And as soon as I hit this button, this one will start. So let's uh, get them right at the same time and see. Uh... There we go. All right, so I'll open up this uh, window here. So 4%, 5%, 6%, and this one here is showing its writing here. And. Uh... Let's keep those. Watch the speed. This is real time. I'm not going to speed it up because it's a short enough video. So far, the Mac is ahead. So we're just hitting about 50% now. Yeah, 50% there, and we're, you know, maybe a third over here. So it appears to be about... Forty percent? Thirty percent faster so far? Or no, maybe it's going to be double. Two times the speed. However, this will just give you an idea if you're uh, looking to edit a, you know, this is a 4K two-minute video clip. You can see how fast it's editing. I mean, it's uh, exporting over here. It's almost done. I think that was about a minute, maybe a minute and a half that it did that. And there's comparison to the iPad, which is still fast. Okay, this one's done just about now. All right, so that's all set. I'll put the time up probably on the screen for that one. And this one, we're at uh, two-thirds of the way or so. Not too far off. Pretty close, though. I'd be willing to bet you if you have the base model of the new M1, uh, say the M1 16 or 14-inch Pro model with the 16-core GPU, because this is a, supposed to be about double as fast, is probably going to be this iPad Pro is going to uh, render a 4K video in about the exact same speed, I'd be willing to bet. I don't have one to test that theory, but... Based on this being two times as fast, uh, you know, and that's about what we saw on this this test. So, just to give you an idea, if you're considering uh, one of the two between for edit, editing videos, so uh, just a little uh, video I wanted to make for you guys. And I didn't see this exact comparison online. I see everybody comparing this to all different computers and MacBooks, but I haven't exactly seen this. Uh, 4k comparison which most people are doing 4k nowadays if you're uploading to YouTube or whatnot so you can kind of get an idea of what to okay that one just finished there get get an idea of what to expect all right guys hope this helps thanks for watching